Hello, and welcome to Art Minutes. I'm Patricia Tomlinson, curator at the Appleton Museum of Art. Today, I'd like to introduce you to a wonderful piece of ceramic ware from ancient Costa Rica. It is by the Greater Nicoya culture, who existed in the northwest portion of what is now known as Costa Rica. When we look at this piece, we notice that it is a bulbous bottomed jar form, and upon it are lots of bright multicolored forms. And then we also see some type of little head or some kind of little animal head in the middle. And then we also note that it is a tripod, so it has three legs. Let's look at this a little bit more in detail. One of the first things I wanted to point out is all the wonderful designs made of polychrome. Polychrome means many colors, and these various slip paints would have been made from natural minerals such as iron oxides, often referred to as red and yellow ochre. Now, while these designs undoubtedly had meaning to these ancient peoples, unfortunately, we really don't know exactly what they mean. These, this ancient culture did not leave behind any type of writing system for us to decipher, to know in depth what they meant by some of these wonderful abstract designs. When we move down the piece a little bit, we notice that there is indeed some type of animal head in the middle of the jar. And then when we look a little further, we see two arms that are resting on the leg forms of the jar as well. This image is a snarling jaguar. Jaguars are extremely important to this ancient culture. They were often depicted in the art. And when you think of it, it kind of makes sense. Jaguars are elusive, mysterious, but also quite fierce and elegant. So it's not entirely surprising that they were considered important to these people who lived amongst them in ancient times. Due to the positioning of the arms and the fact that it is resting on what are modified human-looking legs, it is thought that this is perhaps an image of some type of spiritual specialist either transforming into a jaguar or entering the spirit world and communing with jaguar there. When we move down a little further, we see very tiny little slits in the legs as well. And that is really an interesting aspect to this piece. These slits are actually rattles. So in each of these legs, there are tiny clay balls that were also fired with the pottery piece. And the slits are to allow it to resonate. So these were probably used ritualistically and perhaps actually shaken during various rituals. In summary, a great deal of work went into creating these magnificent ceramic pieces, and it is highly likely they were created for ritualistic purposes amongst these ancient peoples. One of the things I also wanted to mention is that even though almost a thousand years separates our current day from when this piece was created, I think our modern eyes can very much appreciate the beautiful complexity of the abstract designs on this piece. They're very sophisticated, extremely well done, and I think it really speaks a lot to the ancient craftsmanship that it translates so well after so much time. Thank you for listening, and I look forward to sharing more Art Minutes with you soon. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram.